Uh, have you heard the story of our first date, though? No. That one's kind of bonkers. So she got, you know, like, I don't know if people know this, but she has a, a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were talking, and we had never met in person, but we hadn't been, like, FaceTiming and all that kind of stuff. And Oh, wow. And so You went FaceTime before yes, meeting in person? Exactly. Went, dude, that's like that's like going limp dick before boner. That's, <laughs> yeah, no. You're like, like oh, fuck it. Face, everyone looks fat and gross oh, in FaceTime. Oh, it's Come like on. all just this angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, uh, got, you got a selfie stick yeah. to hold up. <laughs> so she, but she calls me and she's like, "Hey man, if you if you wanna if you wanna meet me, you need to come out." before Tuesday. If you don't come out before Tuesday, it's it's going to be a long time before we get to hang out. And I don't know what she's talking about, but she was alluding to this kidney Surgery. transplant yeah. that she was going to have. And I'm such like a dipshit guy where I'm like, it'll all work out. <laughs> like, the universe aligns for me. Like, being like, whatever. I, not knowing how serious it was. Right. Weirdly enough, I used to do like a bunch of um, I, like help get dogs adopted in Nashville. Like no, I did like a thing. I, mean, I know, sorry. Fucker. Yeah. Oh, he takes just, his shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, I got a, I got a fourteen anyway. inch dick, and you know. Uh, <laughs> so like, there's this thing called the Hero Dog Awards, mm. which is like I don't, it's an award show for like basically service dogs. And they called me and they were like, "Hey, we want <laughs> someone to present at the Hero Dog Awards this weekend in Los Angeles. Would you love to? Would you like to come?" And I was like, "You pay for my flight? Great." <laughs> So then I called Sarah, being like, "Guess what? Gonna be there this week, and let's fucking hang out." And come to find out, like like months later, she was like, "Oh my god, it's so romantic." He had his people like reach out and like get him this spot on the award show. I was like. I don't fucking have people. people. What are you talking about? Like, I just answered a phone call. So I finish up doing the Hero Dog Awards thing. She's like, "Hey, I'm going to this party. At we'll go get drinks afterwards." I said, "Great." Finish the finish doing what I'm doing. Text her. She goes, "Hey, listen, we're in Beverly Hills. There's no place open right now. I've got a plus one at this party. Just come to this party." So I said, "Okay, great. I'm still wearing a suit, so I I'm, I don't feel." It's in, yeah. So I take a Uber over there. There's a party in, and I didn't know about this. There's a party in Hollywood called the Night Before the Emmys Party, and it is a party with no press, where everyone who is nominated for an Emmy, which is like every Buddy. Yeah, everyone in matters. Hollywood yeah. is at this party. And it's like a who's who, hobnob, like networking thing. And I didn't know this. So I show up to the night before the Emmys party for my first date. I've never met this girl in person. And so she walks out, gives me a wristband. First person we walk into is Joel McHale. At, who like, at this point, are you like, are you like shaking her hand? Is it like a hug and a kiss? Is it like I think, a, are, it, I think yeah, it was yeah. like a hug and like a kiss on the cheek? Yeah. Okay, and like yeah, the first person we meet is like Joe McHale, and he's like cracking wise, and he's like why yeah, you we know, know like, that game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like why is this douchebag here? Yeah. You know? yeah. he didn't say that, but that's what he was thinking. Yeah. Right. Sure. right. And the next person we run to is is Johnny Galecki. And he's a guy from um, Big Bang. Big Bang. Yeah. And Sarah's like, oh, my God, how's the house? And he's like, well, it fucking burned down. Uh. And so I start laughing because it's Johnny Galecki, and I just know him as funny guy from Big <laughs> yeah, Bang. Yeah. He goes, why are you laughing? And I go, oh, you're serious? He goes, yeah, Malibu fires. And you're like, whatever, like yeah. fires. And I was like, oh. And then he showed a picture, and all that was left was a chimney. I go, well, at least the chimney made it. <laughs> and it was, like, off to a terrible start. Is she, like, giving you looks or anything? She's just, just like, like, Jesus Christ, oh dude. Oh, my like, God. Put a muzzle on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so then we walk in, and she's, like, inviting, <laughs> in, in, introducing me to, like, all the people. Like, the Stranger Things kids are there. And I'm oh, like, man. oh, man, the Game of Thrones people there. And here's the thing that, like, I think turned it for me. So that's a party not for reality TV people. Mm -hmm. Like in Hollywood, like actors think very They're poorly. Looking down on you, <laughs> right? Yeah. But I've been invited to this, and I'm also the bartender on a show that everyone really likes mm -hmm. to watch. So I was like this novelty yeah. to all of these people. Right. So that everyone's come up being like, oh shit, dude, the bartender. Is it real? Is it yeah, real? Like, yeah. All, all, the, all the questions. Yeah, yes. yeah. And I remember her coming up to me being like, uh, you're more popular at this party than I am right now. And I was like, oh, this is weird, man. I know, right? And then I remember I was talking to, I think it was the girl from Westworld. And I was, because I was like in, so into that show yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. And this sounds like such a Every fucking name droppy right? story, but it just yeah. was crazy. Like to understand how the first date was just crazy mm -hmm. to me. And she goes, hey, are you on a date with her? Because they were friends. And I was like, yeah. And she goes, hey, maybe you should go fucking talk to her. <laughs> and I was like, 
you're right. I'm going to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> God, Evan, I don't know much about Evan Rachel Wood. I know she doesn't fuck around. Yo, that's like, is, that is maybe the best was, piece of advice that mm, anyone has ever or will ever give to you. Like, yeah. hey, you see that girl over there? That beautiful, yeah. like, talented, whatever. She wants you to doctor, so yeah. go fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> that was that the, I truly, genuinely believe that that should be a movie. Yeah, it was, I mean, there those movies already kind of exist. Like, you know, I'm I'm like the guy in over my head, just yeah. trying to make it. You know, but like that one sounds like a fucking. Script. That's like one of those. It's uh, what people each say about the play Bachelor. yourselves and go do it. Yeah. Where it's like uh, on the Bachelor, where they say like, you know, it's almost like it's a relationship in fast forward where you do all yeah. like the romantic parts where it's like almost like you have to kind of fall in love. Like yeah. that night sounds like a relationship in fast forward. If like only like uh, she had a pet die too, where it would be like, now you have to <laughs> yeah, console it. That like, yeah. We've done the whole roller coaster night. We've been through an entire relationship. Yeah. We got it. No, it was worse. She had a kidney transplant. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, forgot about the, I forgot about the kidney transplant. That's right. Oh, man. That's such Forget a wild story. Yeah. I forgot about the kidney <laughs> transplant in it. <laughs> That is that is one of the most romantic, entertaining, whatever tales I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I, I, I think it was, she's not a st stupid person. Like, she's very smart, and I do think it was a little bit like, let's see if this kid can, can handle yeah. throw him in the deep end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah and well, there's a lot to handle. I mean, you're yeah. at the rap party the other day, and now, I mean, I'm, I guess you're probably used to it, but, yeah. but again, I really feel like being, you know, in media and radio and just being able to kind of handle yourself... I don't think a lot of other people without that confidence would have been able to swim. I feel like it would be sync for a lot of other people.